Val, in Terrell, Venezuela's electoral authorities have declared President Nicolas Maduro the winner in yesterday's presidential election, but the opposition is also claiming victory in the race. It's setting up a showdown as foreign leaders hold off on recognizing the results. Meanwhile, Venezuelans here in Chicago are watching closely. Yesterday, the Illinois-Venezuelan alliance rallied to bring attention to the crucial election. They're in support of opposition leader Edmundo Gonzalez, hoping he will unseat Maduro, who's been in power for 12 years. They say the outcome could determine if people stay or decide to leave their homeland to come to the United States. Millions of Venezuelans have left in search of opportunities abroad and have come to the U.S., which has had a big impact on the migrant crisis. Many of them have not been able to find a better life. As a matter of fact, many of them have died trying to find a better life. So today, we really want these elections to happen in the most pacific way possible, the most democratic way possible, for us to find the freedom that Venezuela deserves. Last night, there were several car caravans in the loop and a huge celebration at Grand and Kedzie as exit polling showed President Maduro on the verge of losing. But that changed in the hours ahead as Maduro was eventually declared the winner. Gonzalez now saying all election rules were violated as the opposition questions the voting tallies. Meanwhile, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin posting on X last night that the regime must respect the people's votes and not steal another election. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.